Richards. I'm from originally from Albuquerque, New Mexico, but we live in Honolulu. Margo Richards. Uh, we most recently came from Seattle, but yes, we live here in Honolulu now. Okay. Our family is just as amazing as everyone else's family. There's nothing strange or odd about the love that we've shared. Okay. Most people that have an issue with, with this man and the woman thing, these are people that take specific things out of the Bible, and they hold them to be the only truth and gospel. If that were the case, nobody would be eating shellfish. No, no one would be eating pork. No one would be uh, hell, cursing. Nobody. There's, there's so many things <laughs> yeah. that people wouldn't be doing. So I find them to be hypocrites. That's, exactly. that's, that's what I say. If you want to pick and, and choose what you want to believe out of the Bible, then you're obviously not a Christian, and you're not somebody that I that I actually think should be judging me or anybody else. But aside from the religion piece, you can disagree with our lifestyle. You can believe what you want, but that does not hold constitutional value. There's no law. That's got me your, re your religion is <laughs> your religion is based on religion. It's not. It should not be influenced by the law, and and it's clear that it should not be influenced by the law. And why it won't pass, I won't understand if it doesn't, because the Supreme Court already deemed it unconstitutional. We uh, were fortunate enough to celebrate our um, commitment ceremony about six weeks ago. My favorite part about our wedding and and the love that we had at our wedding, I know that we changed a few minds. Yeah. And I'm probably going to cry right now thinking about it, but I know for a fact a few people came there not knowing what to expect, um, and they left with a more open heart and understanding that the love that we have as a family is something that should be celebrated. <laughs> uh, what we guys do to celebrate if same-sex marriage is both. I've already decided, and I don't know oh, if see, I've told you. She hasn't even told me this yet. Let's hear what we're going to do. Um, we have four <laughs> other couples that have all had either a civil union or have had a commitment ceremony. We are going to get in our wedding dresses. Oh, we have it, to get back in our wedding dresses. I want to wear my wedding dress again. Aww. So we're going to get back in our wedding I'm dresses. I'm not sure if I want to get back in my wedding dress, but we'll talk later. <laughs> we're going to get in a limo, and we're all going to come down and uh, get married together. What we do is seems does not pass this time around. I honestly think we should hold a vigil because I don't know why it wouldn't. Um, I don't know why we weren't the first, um, but I definitely don't want to be the last. I have said that um, I want to either fly someplace that does recognize it so that we can get married legally because um, it, it's important to us, and we have a daughter that we're raising together, and it's important to us that she knows that we are recognized as a family, and whether it's not in the state that we live in, but at least federally. Um, so, unfortunately, if we can't do it here, in the place that we now call home, that's incredibly near and dear to our heart, uh, as disappointed as we would be, um, whether Natasha knows it or not, we're going to go somewhere <laughs> and get it done.